Once you have stitched one of the vertical sashings to one of the columns and you're stitching the other column onto the vertical sashing, you need to take care that we're lining up the horizontal sashing. Sometimes they can be off a little bit and we don't want them to be off. So you have an opportunity to line it up there. There's one here in the very top. These need to line up. Every, every time between the blocks, you'll have to be sure you line these up correctly. And I'll show you how I do that. We're going to look first at the, I'm sewing this top column to this column here. So this one, this top one already has the sashing, the vertical sashing. And what we're going to do, I'm going to take my marking pencil and for this one I'm using the white chalky one. I'm just going to take a straight edge. What I'm doing is I'm looking at here is the sashing and here is the here's the vertical sashing and here's the horizontal. So this is the line here I want to mat match up. I'm going to place my straight edge along this seam line here of this sashing and just carry it on. And I'm going to put a little mark that would be in the seam allowance. So here is our line from here down to here. And if I put my straight edge there, you'll see. Lined it up here and then I marked it down here. Now let me show you another one. This one has two spots. So we're going to follow this line here. And let's line it up. And then we're marking the very edge. Very edge here. And let's try this one here. Like that. And you'll do that all the way down for all for all of your horizontal sashings here that you want to match. You want to bring those lines down to the edge. And here's how you will mark, you will pin them together. First, I'm going to find my marking is right here. And I'm going to place a pin there. So I placed a pin right on the marking. And then I'm going to match the pin with this horizontal seam line. So if I pull this back now, you'll see that this line here, this seam line, lines up with the marked line. So then we'll just pin that in place. And let's go to the next one. Here are my two seam lines. So I'm going to put pins right there. I mean, here are my two marked lines, I'm sorry. So I'll put the two pins there. Now we have those marked. And here are the lines we need to line up right here. So I just match the pins with the seam lines. And then place the pin in. And then I'm just going to fill in with some pins between the, the, the pins we've already placed. And then you'll just go down to the next section would be here, this one that we want to match here and mark it the same way. Let's do one more then. You can see it from above. So I'm folding this back. I'm lining the straight edge against this seam line here and I'm marking the very edge. Do the same thing over here. And so here are my two marks. I'm going to put pins here. Like this. So you see how these two pins match these lines here. Line them up and pin them in place. Sometimes you have to look, ease them just a little bit. Okay, and then between the two pins you'll you'll put more pins. And I also found that it's easier and looks better if 
your sashings are at the top and your piece all this stuff down here is at the bottom on next to your feed dogs it just makes it easier and I think that the feed dogs pull in some of that fullness okay so that's how you do when you're stitching a sashing to a block